desired. Think of all the cats in the world, each one longing for fish. Does every haddock and halibut know that it's at the heart of a wish? Of course, wish fish are aware of many dangers, mostly from other swimming strangers. Big fish see small ones as their prey and expect to munch a few each day. Even really close relations must accept these depredations and we know that dolphins create trouble when they blow a cage of bubbles and spotted seals are a breed with an outrageous greed. Then the hungry seabirds wheeling above their glassy ceiling can dive and grab a soul and easily swallow it whole while the hovering shadow of a boat brings a lump to every fishy throat for when the nets are shot then fish are captured quite a lot. But those constant swimmers have never guessed the obsession in it, every feline breast or the rapture on each whiskery face as it thinks of flounders, sardines, place. That frantic gaze as they stand on the shore, longing and longing for more and more mackerel, tuna, cod, bream or bass. So they cannot catch fish themselves, alas. But to be a favourite gourmet feature is the fate of every scaly creature. And swim as they may, there is no safe venue to prevent them adorning someone's menu. Yes, those who run or swim or soar want to possess and then adore. And those with skin, scales, feathers, fur, especially those who are able to purr, covet each one of that piscine crowd who teem in our planet's watery shroud, endlessly darting and twisting fast to avoid becoming a tasty repast. So if to be worshipped you aspire, take heed of the dangers of rampant desire. Surely it's best to be safe and unknown, remain unwanted and alone. Anonymity is better by far than marinated in a jar or hung for hours in choking smoke of countless smouldering chips of oak, or swallowed then regurgitated for fledglings who are never sated, or ground up small and canned for that hungry mewing pussycat band, better ignored and completely unseen, and finish up fried in ruscoline.